Nation. It's your boy Graphic Raider, man. Host of the Oak Las Vegas podcast. Back with another quick video. If this is your first time being here, please think about hitting that subscribe button. Also, wipe them feet, meaning hit them thumbs up. Why are you guys crying about Ryan Tannehill? Please, 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 please leave me something in the comment section. I just do not understand the concept of bringing in a Ryan Tannehill over the likes of a Desmond Ritter. The guy is 36 years old. Yes, 2019 former comeback player of the year, passer Raider leader in the NFL, former pro bowler. You know what I'm saying? I understand that this roster needs a lot of help. And you do not want to bring a guy like Ryan Tannehill in that could potentially win unnecessary games. With Desmond Ritter, a guy that has bounced around the league from the Falcons to the Cardinals, you know, he struggled since coming into the NFL. I believe the last time he was um, a starting quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons, I think he had like 12 touchdowns to 12 interceptions. He has struggled, but he's only 25 years old. So at best, he wins some games. You potentially find your quarterback of the future at 25. At worst, he shits the bed. You move on from him and you go get 1A or 1B in Shador and Cam Ward. It's a two-man race in my eyes. It's Shador or it's Cam Ward. Why bring in a guy like Ryan Tannehill that is battle-tested, that could potentially go out there and win you a few more games than you need to this season with this beat-up roster that can get you out of contention of getting one of the better quarterbacks in next year's draft? Make it make sense. You guys, we have been in quarterback purgatory for way too long now we have been a middle of the pack 13 15 17 whatever outside of that draft where we took Tyree Wilson we need to identify the quarterback position long term do not bring a band-aid in with Ryan Tannehill when you already have a band-aid in Gardner Mitchell in the building who was absolutely stinking up the place you know look Gardner's the starter moving forward i don't even know if we see desmond ritter but there is no reason in the world to bring in a guy like ryan Tannehill who could potentially get you out of that top five in next year's draft to go like locate your quarterback now let's say god forbid the buffalo bills lose josh allen to an injury it makes sense for them to go get a ryan Tannehill. they have the roster for it there's other teams around the nfl that are built for if their quarterback goes down, they can go bring in a guy. The Texans, right? C.J. Stroud is hurt. God forbid that happens. You know, they can bring in a guy like Ryan Tannehill with a strong defense and all those weapons on the offense side of the ball. We are not in a position to go out and get a Ryan Tannehill. So I am okay with going out to get a 6'3", 25-year-old Desmond Ritter off a of practice squad for the Arizona Cardinals, who may not even play a snap anyway, but if he does... At least we get an opportunity to see the youth movement on full display to see if he is the guy of the future, which most likely he wouldn't be. Kill the Ryan Tannehill narrative. It makes no sense for our Las Vegas Raiders. We are two and five. We're going to lose a ton of football games moving forward. We have to find our quarterback of the future. And that happens in 2025 with either Shador Sanders or Cam Ward. And I know a lot of you guys like the other, you know, the other quarterbacks in this year's draft. You know, the Mill Rose, the Carson Beck, so on and so forth. I don't care who it is. Locate your young quarterback next year. Move forward with it. Love you, nation.